Okay. Beta. I'm gonna show y'all bros where I'm from, man. I'm from that. What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss hog. Boss dog K Po through the dirt and taught this boxer. Before I get in my soliloquy, remember, tough times don't last. Good people do. Don't have yourself cut up in there. If I lie, remember, you matter. Nah, your boy gonna be out of commission for like seven days, right? I'm going to Africa, right? I'm going, going. I'm going to Africa, man. So your boy ain't gonna be, you know, posting. So I'm finna make a whole bunch of videos today because my flight leave at three, right? So I'm finna make a whole bunch of videos, right? But I'm gonna be dropping like little, like, uh, pictures and stuff on my page you know what i'm saying on my uh on my channel you know probably do like a little short so y'all can see because i'm family you know what i'm saying so we we gonna we gonna post but i want to talk about deontay wilder versus zane um uh this loss right here solidified everything i told y'all a while back when i made a video that this was a crossroads for both fighters um both fighters have uh, coming up losses, although Zhang's loss, you could say, you could question it a little bit, but Wilder, you know, it was kind of decisive, you know what I mean? Like, you knew he lost when it pertains to Joseph Parker. Um, <clears throat> this was a dangerous fight, you know, but it was a fight that I felt like it was a 50-50 fight in the sense of Zhang is there to be hit. Now, Zhang did a phenomenal job moving his head, having good fundamentals. And Wilder, you know, didn't have good fundamentals. And which he's never had good fundamentals. He just had that one, two. And he was like, more athletic than a lot of guys. But I think Father Time has caught up with Deontay Wilder. I think, you know, it's just time for him to, to basically hang it up. You know, I don't want him to be that heavyweight fighter who, you know, they use as a, like, you know, kind of like a gateway keeper to, to, as a measuring stick for prospects to see if they really contenders or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, Wilder, you know, his style has completely changed since he's got with Malik Scott. Um, and that's not who he is. You know, even in his Zang fight, he was still like trying to box. When letting that right hand go, you know, it was just a lot of things I was questioning. And, you know, I just needed answers. I needed answers. Why didn't Wilder, you know, let his right hand go earlier? Why didn't he demand respect earlier? You get what I mean? I understand Zang is a bigger guy, but, you know, and once you sign that contract, you get in that ring, you got to figure out ways to, you know, get your hand raised. You know what I'm saying? And I think Wilder just, I don't know. I think he feared getting knocked out again. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what I see. I think he had that fear of getting knocked out again. When you go in that ring, you know, you can't have that no more. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm not trying to disrespect Wilder in any sense. It just seemed to me like he gunshot. You know what I mean? The Wilder of old would have been aggressive. The Wilder of old would have been pumping that jab. The Wilder of old would have let that right hand go and would have been letting Zang know, hey, I'm here to stay. I ain't nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I saw in the fight. I, I, and that's... You know, I saw a very, uh, I, 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 he was hesitant, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, it's, it just sucks because I feel like Wilder could still make some noise in every division. You know what I mean? He's athletic, he's tall, he's long, and he got that equalizer. So I thought, okay, you know, he, he can, you know, make some noise still. And it didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? So I just think Wilder need to hang it up, man. You know, he's had a very, uh, very good career. Um, I think, you know, him also having those long layouts, him, uh, it's a lot, man. I, I could really cook on this for like 20 minutes, <laughs> you know, about Wilder, you know what I'm saying? But styles make fights. I just feel like also stylistically, this was a bad matchup. I also think, that how, he, how they moved him, you know what I'm saying? Because if he would have beat Zane, he would have been right back fighting against uh, Jerry Big Baby Anderson, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's just how they moved him, man. I think that, you know, they kind of need to, uh, they should have moved him better, 
You know, let him get his confidence up a little bit. Let him get a rhythm. You know, him implementing a new style, you know, that's what they should do instead of just putting him in these big fights. Now, I respect him for that. Y'all know boss. Yeah, you know, I respect him for that. I respect any fighter that's willing to get in there and risk they owe. You know what I'm saying? It gets tough competition. Because if you're a killer, if you feel like you're a killer, you fight killers. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in there to pay patty cake and, you know, nah, you in there to fight dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So, very intrigued. Uh, I don't want something very intrigued. I think Wilder needs to retire. <laughs> That's what it is, G. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I got some more heat coming, boss. Go.